Is what your character wears important? How can you show character? Their nature, their personality, their mood, their conflicts, their goals? Can you show it through clothing? And is detail important? And how much detail? Well, sometimes it's important and sometimes it's not. In this episode, we're going to take a look at clothing and how you can show, not tell, with clothing. It is the first part of my multi-part series about show, don't tell tips. Hi, I'm Autumn Bardot, and here you will find author tips, writing tools, and hopefully even some inspiration. Okay, so let's get back to show, don't tell tips with clothing. First, I want to thank everyone who watched the show two weeks ago when I had my show, don't tell tips there for parties. It was a popular video, and as promised, we're going to do that for many weeks, <laughs> show, don't tell tips. What does that mean? Show, don't tell simply means showing emotion, conflict, themes, characterization, tone, and mood. Not you telling the reader what their mood, any of that stuff is. Scriptwriters and directors do this all the time. They show things visually. But as writers, we are not limited to just the visual. We have all our other senses to work with. And sometimes all you need is a word or two and it will convey a lot. Now, don't make the mistake, because many do, um, of writing like lengthy clothing descriptions that serve no purpose. If it serves no purpose, other to describe their fabulous whatever it may be, then that is not showing. That is simply a lengthy description. And adding extra detail to all of that, same thing. Unless it is showing, it is revealing something about the theme, the character, the conflict, all of that good stuff. Now, Let's admit it, and we need to be honest here. We judge people by their clothing. You can say it's wrong 100%, but nonetheless, you can say it's wrong, but you know what? We do it. We really do. Okay, so let's get started on clothing. What can clothing show beyond the time period or occupation? So we're going to look at very specific descriptors and I'm just going to throw some stuff out at you and you can decide whether it will work, not work, whatever. And have I thrown out an exhaustive list? Oh no, heck no. But maybe these things will start getting you thinking, okay? Wrinkled clothing. Let's look at wrinkled clothing. Wrinkled clothing can show that the character was in a hurry especially if their clothing is usually always pressed. Maybe it indicates or reveals they don't, that they don't care how they come across to others. It could indicate overconfidence or underconfidence. Or it could simply reveal or indicate that they don't have an iron. Or maybe they're sloppy or naive about what a sloppy, wrinkled shirt, what kind of messages that sends to others. They're in a rush, they're sloppy, they're not put together, all of those things. But it's up to you with further clues, further showing clues to put it all together. Now, if they're military and it's wrinkled, you know something's up, right? Because military folk are always very pressed and polished. And pressed clothing works in the opposite way. The reader will read these cues and start making assumptions about the character. When a character goes from immaculate to unkempt, the reader knows something's going on, they're having a crisis. Now let's discuss elegant or costly clothing. 
It can, now I'm always saying it can or it may, indicate wealth or that they're spending more than they earn and or that appearances matters to that person. Think about all the chatter that we hear about whatever it was that the royals wore or didn't wear, whether it was couture from their country, was it mid-price, which for us is mostly pretty expensive, uh, or was it a rental, like Princess Catherine did the other day in the, the U.S., one of those U.S. galas that they went to. It was all a buzz. Think about all those Hollywood award shows and how they dwell on what the actors wore and why they wore it. So do clothes matter? Yes. <laughs> what if the character is wearing like a fake designer? Well, that may show their desire to fool someone into thinking that they are from a different socioeconomic status, that they have more money than they do or that they desire money and social status, or simply that they aim to achieve it one day and wear the fake until they can afford the real. Or they simply have no idea about fashion at all and don't even know it's a fake. They just bought something on sale to swap me. <laughs> if a character is buttoned up or flamboyant, it will offer personality clues. That's showing, revealing clues. The color of the clothing is a chance to show the readers how they're feeling that day or how they, you know, how their general personality is, if it's somber or sunny. In Bones, if you ever watch the show Bones, the Sealy Booth, the straight-laced detective, always wore flamboyant socks with his gray suit. And we understand from that simple tell that he's a rebel at heart, and despite the gray suit, and despite that, you know, you must obey authority kind of job. So the flamboyant socks, those crazy socks, said a lot about his personality. Tight clothing. Tight clothing may tell us that the clothes are old and don't fit. Perhaps they gained weight or that they're borrowing somebody else's clothes, if they're ill-fitting clothes, or perhaps they want to show off their body. Overly loose clothing can reveal that someone wants to hide in their clothes, that or that they value comfort, or that they lost weight, or maybe it's because that weight loss was from a disease or a mental trauma, or... <laughs> Drapey oversized clothing in can say in something like cashmere or silk might show that they can afford excess and comfort. So excessive excess and quality and comfort. Old clothing, old but quality clothing, classic clothing, well that will have that will reveal something about the character as well or the socioeconomic group that they come from. It may offer a glimpse into their personality. Old but quality classic clothing can suggest old money. No need to impress anybody. Um, they value quality over fashion. Look at if their shirt is hanging in or out, tucked in or left out, or just the general unkemptness of their appearance. My hubby only wears his clothes tucked in at work and at events. Otherwise, he's in a t-shirt that's out. <laughs> Accessories offer a clue about personality too. Whether they're baubles, inexpensive baubles, or expensive or mid-range. Are they dull? Are they gleaming? Are they sedate? Are they classic? Are they flashy? Are they ostentatious? All of these things will give character clues. You're showing their character. Think about patterns versus plain. Loud, flashy colors say, look at me, whether they're a, they're a pattern or not. Does the character 
or perhaps even the setting, the society, prefer white, black, and gray that we see in some dystopian novels? Or does the character like somber or bright colors? Often people will reflect their personality through their clothing. Or they can even reflect their mood. If you're happy, you tend to choose brighter colors. Or once again, it can just be a part of the book. Um, I'm finishing up Jane Eyre, and she is always described in a somber, functional, sedate, I think it's navy or black or something like that, clothing. It matches her personality. No frills, no jewels. Now you, the writer, get to offer these clues to the reader to show the reader, to show a little more about the characters or the society or the setting that they're in. Now I have another show don't tell tip. Do not, do not tell your readers by writing, he wore a gray suit with a prep school tie and his shoes were scuffed. Don't do that because that's telling. Yes, I know you described the clothes, but you did it in a telling manner. Instead, integrate those little details into the action or the dialogue. Just a few little words. Here's an example. He slung his Armani suit over the back of the chair and put his scuffed shoes on the desk. He brushed a drop of espresso from his prep school tie. Okay, that is more showing, not telling. So what do we learn from that quick little sentence? And you're right, yeah, it did take more words than just a description. So what did we learn from that? Okay, what we learn is that this man has a job in business, thus the Armani suit, that he either had a prep school education or wants to look like he did, that he's careless about his stuff, that would be from swinging um, the suit jacket over the chair instead of hanging or folding it, and that he doesn't pay attention to details. That would be the scuffed shoes. So you added maybe another sentence, but you added a lot more flavor, detail, revealing detail that shows the character, not tells the character. You get to dress your characters and add the showing details as clues. I find that when I introduce a character, I spend a lot more time doing the showing type details in the beginning to quickly offer more character insight than at the end. At the end, I'm not really focused on clothing unless it's an important aspect of what's going on. Otherwise, I, I've already established their nature um, and what's going on with them. Yeah. I have. I have a great way for you to further your appreciation of the showing, of the revealing, of the of these little clue tells that will reveal a lot. And what I want you to do is next time you watch a show or a movie, really look, really look, study what the characters are wearing. You know, there's a wardrobe department and wardrobe people, you know, for a reason, right? The director, they want you to understand something about the character by their clothing. So they want you to figure out intuitively, without even thinking about it, that you understand the characters. So, there's so much I could say on this topic. And I think I even wrote a paper about the two Henry the Thirds, Richard the Thirds, Richard the Thirds, two production numbers in my MFA program. One had loud, fun costumes with the whole movie, and it was a, it was a, it was, it wasn't a serious historical, and the clothing was not wasn't right. And everybody was clean. Basically, everybody was clean and perfectly kempt. And they all had those, those socks on, those colorful socks on, and things that just were more, you know, let's put on a show kind of clothing. Whereas another Richard III 
production was somber and there was such attention to detail. The whole mood just by virtue of the clothing was different. So it's a great way to really appreciate and understand how we intuitively understand a character, a culture, a setting through clothing. And that's a show, if you write it the right way, through, through some dialogue or through in, ingraining it into the action, then just this is what happened, this is what they wore. Okay, I will see you next week. We're going to have another topic, another show don't tell tip. Until then, dream of, I wrote it down somewhere, dream of creating some character clues, create those character clues, those little tells into their personality, and embrace the wonder that a little bit of detail can have really big impact. See you next week. <laughs> bye bye.